I'm Jordan Lehman from Idea Fab Labs here, and uh, we've got a bunch of different of the face shield designs that have been coming out on the internet over the last couple weeks with the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, this is the Prusa headband RC2. Um, there's been a couple new renditions that people have remixed it. We've also done uh, made it a little bit shorter so it doesn't take as long, about half the time. This is two hours, 15 minutes. Uh, some other people here, Parallel Flight, uh, remixed that into um, a new format that Joe B Aviation has put together. Sean McQuesty did that one. Here's an example of that. Much thinner, much smaller. Um, again, takes about an hour to print. Um, a three-hole pattern, which uh, can be paired up with... Okay, let's see. This is a, a piece of mylar cut on a three-hole punch. One, two, three, here. And that lets you put it on here carefully. Um, takes a minute with your hands to do. Um, so we're kind of, we've done some assessments. Some people have come up with some different um, requirements and things. Comfort, um, printability, how far away from the head it is. Um, different people have different concerns and needs, so we're trying to get to somewhere that makes sense for everybody. Um, you know, does this, is it worth printing this piece? What, what is the purpose of the bottom piece? It this forms, weighs it down? This forms. Oh. Can these be, Re, why can't they be reused? This one can absolutely be reused. It's really thick, yeah. This one can be reused, yeah, you can wash it. This is all pet G. You can take this and, and wash it with soap and water. Yep. Not a problem. We're using this high heat silicone, but only because we have a bunch of it left over from a project that we we hoarded it, okay. to be honest. We've been waiting for this moment, I guess. <laughs> um, but this we use on the laser cutter and it's, uh, it's not elastic. It's been working. Um, Elastic has been hard to find, if you didn't yeah. know that. I heard. That's what I hear. So, um, so we donated a bunch of these. We're going to try and get them in the hands of people who need them. That might be UCSC, because um, they're doing the testing. Uh, they have a whole program for um, involving sequencing to kind of figure out some stuff with uh, the virus itself. So, Maddox, our main fabricator at Idea Fab Labs, put this together. This is it's sort of like a face shield, but for your whole body. So, you know, if you're uh, if you're being tested, being swabbed, the yep. person can be completely isolated. Yep. This would probably be the uh, the person giving the test in here, and then yep. the public's over here. They might be in a car, they might be um, in person, and they can stick their hands through. Yep. Ideally, we were going to have gloves, like a sandblaster, but it's very, very difficult to get those nowadays. So um, we just use the same silicone uh, to create a, a pure seal, and then they, when they come back, they can wash themselves down. Um, and this can all be rinsed and washed and desanitized, however, it's all polycarbonate and aluminum all the way through. Awesome. And this is a desktop version that we made for, desktop you version. know, if you're just sitting um, at a table trying to give someone a, a, a test with a swab. Oh. So we've been busy. Uh -huh. So um, actually, the first thing that we were doing was those yeah. big interface booths uh, mm -hmm. for testing. Yes. And then um, we have another facility at the Chico, California, Chico Idea Fab Labs. And we, they started making masks pretty early on, uh, and we're following suit by producing these cuts that can be sewn together in kits. So we've been sending them out to um, sewists all over the Central Coast. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's great. Thanks for coming by, Doug. And and who's our helper? Peter Newton. Yeah, indeed. Organizing and driving. You got it, Peter. Also, this is Maddox here. Hey, Maddox. Hello. Awesome.